Look under over here too. Hey, what's up guys? It's update time on the Stiletto Hammer. I've had this thing for a few months now and I made a video about it when I got it because I was super excited. I'm still super excited, I love it. It's actually been a great hammer. It's got a lot of cool features that I like. I'm gonna show you in a second. And I've had a lot of comments though about how this is too expensive for a hammer. So I wanted to do a little perspective on that. Uh, let's say you're a pro golfer. I'm a pro carpenter. Let's say you're a pro golfer. You wouldn't go down to Dick's Sporting Goods and buy a $300 set of golf clubs. You would go buy the best golf clubs you could buy because you use them every day, all day, and your livelihood depends on them. Just like this hammer, my livelihood depends on my elbow not blowing out because I swing a hammer all day long. And this thing is ergonomically better than most hammers. That's one good reason. And actually, it just is a good hammer. It feels good and it actually just does a great job at the things it needs to do for me. I think we're gonna go a little more in depth than last time because I didn't do much last time except just twirl. I did, I did a twirl, didn't I last time? Yep, that's what I did last time. Okay, first off, let's look at the head of my hammer. You can see that it is very worn compared to when it was new. The waffle is beat in. That's because I've abused this hammer. I've hit hard nails, I've hit rebar, and it's really done well, but that's why it has a replaceable head. <laughs> Okay, hammers are for driving nails. We're gonna drive a few. Here is a three inch regular sinker coated and I'm gonna put it in some pressure treated wood. Not bad. Here is a three and a quarter inch galvanized ring shank. We're gonna put it in some pressure treated wood. Oop. Let's bend that one over. I don't know who did that. Hey, a reload on the nails. I think that hits like a lot heavier hammer because I've had a lot heavier hammers. So let's rewind a little bit. I've been building houses 20 years. I started out with one of those crazy 24 or 28 ounce hammers and that's why I got tendonitis in my elbow. That's the hammer my dad handed me when I was building with him when I was like a teenager. So now I'm downgrading in weight, I'm upgrading in ergonomics. I've also owned several of the wooden handled stiletto hammers which I really liked but they don't have as much ass behind them as this does. So I like this hammer better. And I broke some of the wooden handle stilettos is why I really got this. I broke the head off of like two or three, replaced the handles. So I wanted a metal shafted hammer like this and I bought it. We're gonna take a look at this side pull feature which gives you a lot more leverage than your regular claw. You never really have to pull nails but I'll show you how it works anyway. Okay, so I got that driven almost all the way in. I'm gonna hook it with the side pull Get down in there so I can see how it's hooked on the head. Got that almost all the way in. And watch how easy this thing comes out now. All the way out. Okay, you've actually seen this on a lot of other hammers, but it has this magnetic clip right here so you can start nails that are way away from you, like way up high. You can start a nail, wherever that went. Show you how that works right here. So overall, like I said, I've been very happy with this hammer. Uh, I can't say enough good things about it, really. If I lost it, I would buy another one today. Yeah, AJ bought one. I did. Yeah, you did. <laughs> <laughs> you like yeah. it? I love it. Yeah? Love it. Yeah, I knew you would. Love it. Especially when my boss buys it. Yeah. <laughs> All right, and I gotta add this, that the funniest comment I ever got on any YouTube video was about this hammer and somebody commented, that's a stupid hammer for a stupid carpenter. And that was just amazing. Thank you for whoever posted that. All right, so you made it through this video. It was more like a lesson on how to not use a hammer. Sorry about that. Hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell so you get our future videos on how not to hit a nail with a hammer. <laughs>